You ever wonder if the shop with the cop situation was really shopping with the cop that initiated this situation? I'm curious if there has ever been someone who got a job in law enforcement and at the clincher of the afternoon or time of day it was that you had gotten your cruiser, had your child with you, and had to hit the store. And someone gave you crap because technically that's not what your uniform or your cruiser is for. It's not for you to go and run errands with after work. You're supposed to bring street clothes and change yourself out. Okay, that's where that ass mama part of you he has me worried I, I worry I worry about each of you police officers that are new and old because some of you would already be like hey I'm changing out of this if I got errands to run because I can't do this some that are brand new explaining to their teenager hey I need you to hang out for a minute I just got given these work tools I gotta take them to the house Rules and regulations say I'm not supposed to have you in around and they're not things for you to be messing with. They're for my work. So I got to go take my work stuff home and then I'll be able to meet you. Where can you hang tight at? You know what I'm saying? Like there's a, a way that a parent can explain to their child that work tools can't be brought certain places. And you're not supposed to do certain things. Do that policey man or lady also put their home shopping with their child in a blue goose? Because right now, the only goosing that's going on is a lawsuit towards the state police department, Michigan versus Michigan. The rudeness and ignorance of other people. Arrogance at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know there are people that would be this stickler about the uniform because there's a reason for it. But some single parents kind of already worry that they're being looked at like it's not. Like there's someone's already going to scrutinize them. So they might hastily go scoop their kid up, do their errands, and then head home. They could be tight on gas, but it's not that difficult to ask your boss or a pantry when I have everything switched around, doing donations and thoughtful gifts so if someone needs help, I can give that help. Being burglarized and stole from just sours me, makes me want to relocate and reconsider where I would do something thoughtful randomly. Michigan has kind of made it very... You'd have to catch me on a really good day <laughs> of the year. A day of the year. We already know how many days that I've kind of done that nice thing. 